11 years, three Pro Bowls. Uh, Levante David of the Bucks has had an unbelievable career. And he's joining us again. So Kyler Murray just signed a big, massive contract. So you haven't played him since, I believe, your rookie year. Let's go back, Levante. You are an experienced all-pro linebacker. Here comes this kid from Oklahoma. He's kind of small. He's running around all over the place. Take me back to that game. Did you sense, Levante, he was special? Yeah, thank you for having me. But um, when we first played him, it was his rookie year, and uh, we kind of knew he was going to be a threat already, especially with his athleticism. And, uh, you know, for, you know, not a a shorter guy, he's kind of stout in his stature. Got some size on him, so... We already knew he was going to be a threat. He got a nice ball. You know, he's real fast with the ball. You know I mean? He's real fast, you know, uh, with his speed, I mean. So, uh, with his, the way they use him, I think they utilize, utilize him the right way. And uh, he's definitely going to be a threat for years to come. By the way, that game was a shootout. You guys won that game. But he went 27 mm-hmm. of 44 for 324 yards and three TDs. I thought initially, yeah. I said this, Levante, I said, he's a little small, I do worry about that. When you watched him, and he's, the linemen mm-hmm. now are six seven. When that yeah. game was over, were you like a little surprised how successful he was throwing from the pocket? Yeah, I, I really, really was surprised. You would think uh, was you, you get into him, you get hands in his face, you get him to move around a little bit. But he does actually sit in the pocket a little bit and, and can make you know the precise throws that you need to make as a quarterback. So it definitely was surprising to see, but you uh, you can see why you know he's been a a great player in his league, and you see why uh, the Cardinals play the money that he deserves. 25 years from now, you're going to be sitting somewhere talking to your grandkids, and they're going to mm-hmm. say, uh, uh, Levante, what was it like to play with Tom Brady? And yeah. and, and they're going to ask that, but beyond just winning, and, and they're going to ask you, tell us some stories. What What has it been like for you? Uh, for me personally, man, just seeing him come to the locker room, just being himself, you, uh, you know, every time, you know, when you get a guy like that in your locker room, you would expect them to act a certain way or be a certain way, you know, kind of be like arrogant, be, you know, a hole as much. But with Tom, man, you know, with all his success and all the stuff that he's done throughout the league, man, he's just a normal guy. You know, he uh he just wanna be a part of the locker room. He wanna be like everybody else. He wanna joke around with you, he wanna just talk to you. Um, you know, he knows everybody in the locker room, you know, got great relationships with people. And uh just the way he leads, the way he carries himself, man, is on and off the field is just incredible to witness. And uh, I'm lucky to have him on the team. You know, uh, you heard all the stories before before he even came to us. So, you know, get a chance to experience all that. It's really cool to see. And then, you know, obviously, you know, I'm telling my grandkids, you know, you know, I got a chance to play with a with a seven time Super Bowl champion, a guy who shattered almost every quarterback record in the NFL. So uh it's definitely a, a great appeal part of his history and his success. So um it does feel a little bit, I mean, good God, he's been playing for twenty five years. It does feel like, hey, <laughs> this is probably the last year for him. W- will it feel a little yeah. bit to you, Levante, like, hey man, I better I better suck this in. Like this is this is the last year for Tommy. Does it feel a little yeah. bit like that? Yeah, I mean, you never know. I mean, once somebody hit twenty years, you never know what year going to be their last year. But this guy, he's keep going. He keeps going. But you know, um, every opportunity you want you want to feel, man, you want to make the most of it. And uh, you know, the first year he came to us, you know, uh, it was definitely that chance. You know turnover and uh you know step up in a big way and we was able to win the super bowl and then last year you know we did get the job done but we was pretty successful in some areas but uh then again at the end of the day you know that's not our ultimate goal everyone's ultimate goal is to you know be in the super bowl and winning the super bowl you know that's gonna be the same mindset for this year um you know just a guy like him man you you want to play hard for him hard for him just because you know just type of teammate he is just everybody in the locker room you know Everybody in the locker room just gravitates to him, you know, just because, you know, already, you know, already his accolades and uh, who he is. But uh, I just feel like we got a bunch of great leaders in the locker room as well. He helped out with leadership as well and everybody needed. So Todd Bowles is a quiet guy. He's a great coordinator. But when he tried to be a head coach last time, he's kind of quiet. And sometimes you need somebody up there barking and yelling or whatever it is. Um, Yeah. Are you bummed? You probably won't see as much as Todd Bowles on a daily basis now that he's elevated to head coach. How do you Mm guys, I mean, how do you think it's going to feel? I mean, quiet, Coach Bowles is not as quiet as you guys think. 
<laughs> just it's just what you see on TV or what you're around them. But when you're when you're around them, when you're in the meeting room with them, when you uh you know just see him out there on the practice field, he's talking a lot. He's talking a lot. Whether it's trash talking, motivating, or whatever it may be, he's uh he's doing some talking. So um you know uh you know Coach Bowles is always gonna be involved. You know obviously with the defense, you know he's a defensive guy. And uh one thing I love about Coach Bowles is his door is always always open. You know that's one thing he told us as a defense. If you, you know, want to have questions about anything, you want to talk about whatever it may be, just come out at me. And uh, it's just going to go the same thing. It's going to be the same thing, but this time for the whole football team as a head coach. You know, anything you want to talk about, you know, he's open to it. And um, that's one thing I really love and respect about him. And uh, he's definitely a guy who I feel like um, the team will love. And uh, it's been so far, it's been good. You know, everybody's uh, been doing a good job and cooperating with him. And uh, we're going to see how the season go, man. But I think it's going uh, to be real great. Your last game was a loss to the Rams. You had 11 tackles. You led your team. You're second in the NFL in tackles since you uh, arrived. You got money. You're set for your future. How long are you going to play? You know, every tackle takes a little off you. You've been an unbelievable player. Do you still wake up in the morning and can't wait to get to practice? Yeah, I really do. Uh, I was just telling my friends this the other day at workout. You know, uh, I mean, I'm ready to get back to camp. You know, uh, you know, <laughs> right this time it's just it's a repetitive. It's the same thing. You wake up, go to workout, do what you do the rest of the day. But now, man, I'm ready to get in football mode since it's, it's, it's getting close. I'm ready to get there. So, you know, uh, I'll be in Tampa soon, getting ready for my 11th training camp, man. Just get back around the guys, just get ready to compete. And uh, just go out there and just have fun. And as far as you know, as long as how how far I got left to play, you know, you never know. You never know, man. I'm just playing like every year. You know, every year I feel like I'm playing like I'm, I'm coming with a rookie mindset, coming in to learn, coming in to play my best, do my best, and uh, we're gonna see how I go from there. Levante, great player, gonna get Hall of Fame votes. Congrats. Good luck in that Tampa humidity in camp. It's no day. It's no day at the beach. I've covered it. I've been in it. And good talking to you again. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.